Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all for tuning in today. Today, not a whole lot going on in the hobby farm, but we are going to do some sawmill cleanup. You can see all the slabs here and a little bit of firewood gathering. So I wanted to bring you all along and uh, we're going to get some more action in on the new Echo Chainsaw. Here at our local LS dealer, Mendenhall Farms, is uh, letting us do a demo on. So you can look back. We did a, a first impressions review on it. The saw is really nice. I just want to get a little more feel for it. Ideally, it's a little too big for cutting up slabs, but we'll try to get it into some bigger wood later on in the video. So stick around and I hope y'all enjoy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do a cold start on this saw. And uh, you can see, good cold. <clears throat> this is the CX620P by Echo. And I've only got eh, about a quarter to half a tank ran through it yet. And as I mentioned before, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with it. We're gonna get a little more runtime today. We'll let you know what we think. Compress and release on the top there. I keep bumping that choke in with my leg while I'm starting it. Bad. We're about 20, 20 degrees today. Good chilly. Supposed to be getting a lot of uh, snow here tomorrow, so kind of looking forward to that. Love this frozen ground. To get the tractor out, not make a muddy mess of things. We're doing all right here on the hobby farm. All right guys, so we got the majority of them slabs cut up. And as I mentioned before, this all is definitely overkill for cutting up slabs, but I just wanted to get some more use and become more familiar with the saw. So to point out some of the things that I really like about this saw so far, one being the translucent gas tank. You can see the fuel level right there. That's pretty awesome. Second, I like the chain break. Uh, climbing around all this firewood like this, Pretty much after every cut, I'm hitting the chain break, and I like the fact that it's got a real short throw on it, and it's it's in good reach, so minimal effort to release it as well. Not that any of them are difficult, but that's just something that stands out to me using this saw and using it the chain break frequently is its ease of use. So, all right, we're gonna be moving on to uh, some other things here. Let's go pick up some more wood. I want to go ahead and offload the rest of this. It's already most of it's already cut. And uh, we'll get out to some firewood. I got a nice uh, butt end off a big honey locust log that I had, and as you can see, it's it's bigger than the bar. So we're gonna we're gonna see how this chainsaw performs in full bar length wood. That there is a 24 inch bar, and uh, we're gonna try it out. The saw's good and warm, so let's get right into it.
Wow, that thing has got some torque to it. Good chips. This honey look is super dense stuff, guys. So this is uh, an ultimate test there on that saw. And uh, let me tell you, it really, really kept the, the chain speed up nice. And uh, a lot of power for the 60, I think it's 62 cc. I'll have to check that for certain. 62 or 64. I like it, guys. Let's go get it on some firewood. Y'all are hanging out with me today. I got some spare time, and this project is next. So all these uh, little eastern cedars with the goats in here, they pretty much peeled the bark, and they are dead, drying out. We were wanting to get them out of here anyway, so uh, no real effect on them for us. <laughs> All right, well, that wasn't a bad little job. We got a nice, better view. So eventually we're gonna be thinning out all these smaller maples and uh, some nasty looking elm in there so we can get a better view. Slowly but surely, guys, progress. That's what it's all about. Use the uh, Echo Red Armor Fuel 50 to 1 pre-mix. So another pretty neat thing I like about this saw um, is the ability to go ahead and use your handle for leverage and uh, that way you can tighten these and also break them loose nice and easy instead of getting your scrunch there on some of the other saws and seal systems not bad how they flip up and and turn to lock but i've had a lot of the times my oiler cap on my especially my ms250 it'll actually you'll think it's locked in but it'll pop out and you'll lose all your oil. So this design here is not bad at all. All right, come on guys. You gotta give me a thumbs up for that one. You don't see this this much action anywhere else. 